Hey guys, I'll be back with another video, and this is the U Euphoria. In the box, you get the phone itself. Some headphones which look like earphones but don't sound like them, like they sound bad. A charger, some manuals, a screen cleaner, a screen protector and a device which can be used to remove wobbles when applying a screen guard. So let's just start with my favorite aspect of any smartphone, the specs. Inside there is a 64-bit Snapdragon 420 with 2GB of RAM and a 2313mAh power battery. The back of the phone is removable and so is the battery. The phone is dual SIM 1 which is a plus for all of you who use two SIM cards. There is also a micro SD card slot for all of its people who need some extra storage. Talking about storage, there is only one model of the phone which comes with 16GB of storage. And if you are like me then you definitely need more than that. The phone has metal on its sides, just like the new Moto X. One of the best features about this phone is the display. The display is a 720p display with great colors and even though 720p doesn't sound so amazing, the display is one of the best displays I have seen on the budget smartphone. The best fact about the display though is that it is a 5 inch display which means it is perfect for one handed use and with the metal surrounding it, it has a great feel in the hand. The design on this phone is quite standard actually with there being the 3.5mm headphone jack on the top, a micro USB slot on the bottom and the power button with the volume up button and the volume down button on the right. The button placement on this phone is horrible. The power button is between the volume keys and sometimes when you want to change the volume, you might press the power button or vice versa. In the beginning, it's really irritating but then you get used to it. On the front, we have an ear speaker, a 5 megapixel camera followed by you branding and the actual screen. On the back, you have the camera surrounded by a circular rim which will be something all the U phones will have. The camera is followed by you branding and the video speakers. The speakers are actually pretty good but them being on the rear of the device is something to be noted as I prefer front speakers more. The front camera is actually pretty good with meh image quality but in low light the image comes out a little blurred out but it's tolerable. The camera app has many options with modes like posterize, aqua and HDR. The camera also supports slow motion with 60fps and 90fps and see the footage. It is clearly not good. The story is not the same for the video camera. The video camera is way better and I am already a fan of it. So expect your picture game to be pretty good with this phone. Now let's talk about performance. As I said earlier, this phone has a 64-bit Snapdragon 420 with 2GB of RAM and a 2230mAh battery. It received a 2204 on N22. The software is smooth and there is no lag and it doesn't even heat up while gaming. Talking about gaming, this device handles games like a beast. Games like Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5 need to be set on medium settings, but light games like Jelly Jump and Zigzag work smoothly. Now we come to one of the best features about this phone, the battery life. The battery life on this phone is excellent with checking a few emails, watching a ton of videos and playing some games. This phone got a one day battery life and if you charge it every night you are good to go. In software, this is the closest to soft you can get. This phone has Cyanogen mod which means you can customize it anyway. It has its own browser called the Universe and it also comes with a screen recording app followed by the Google apps like YouTube and the Play Store which are on every Android phone. Now we are back to the original question, should you buy it or is it just the same old Micromax? Well, 
It isn't the miracle in metal Micromax is advertising, but it sure is a great smartphone and I would recommend you to buy it. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, hope you liked this one. Make sure to subscribe to me if you haven't already, thanks for watching.